Hiya, I'm Jimmy from the Pigeon Detectives. This oh. is Ryan. And so. we're at O2 Wireless in London. Not really excited yet because we've just reco recovered from a hangover from Leeds from last night as hometown. But it should be good once we've uh, sobered up and should be a really good gig. A special plan for the gig? Well, we always like to rip it up and um, put on a good show for people, so not too special, but you'll have to wait and see really. Oh, with this festival, um, looking forward to seeing the Rakes. We played with them in New York the other day. And they're, uh, they're a really good live band. Uh, good shoes, actually, in particular. They're, they're, they're all right on CD, but the, the, the miles better on the, when they're playing live. They're, they're a really good uh, band to watch. So keep a lookout for them. Um, the best festival moment we've probably had as a band was probably Leeds and Reading last year. Um, Reading, we went to first on the Friday, and it was just, we got a really good reception and played to full tent, which were amazing. It's the first time I've ever done that. And Leeds is our hometown, so like a homecoming. So Leeds and Reading combined last year was the best festival experience for the Pigeon Detectives, definitely. The weirdest rumour is that we're pigeon fanciers and things like that. You know, we don't actually go around stalking or catching or detecting pigeons. And some people actually honestly think we do that. So that's a weird rumour. We're at Leeds Festival and an Australian guy named us it. My nose is running because I've got air fever. But um, he, he named us it because one of the lads said something about pigeons and um, we had a gig in Leeds and we didn't have a name and we chose that. It's not the best name ever but we uh, we stuck with it and we started getting a big following and we couldn't change it then. But it's a brilliant name now. Now I've got used to it and it's, you know, people pay, pay more attention to it because it's a weird name. So. Our most disastrous gig was probably... Probably yesterday. We had, a bit of a, <laughs> we had an amazing gig yesterday up in Leeds or two and um, the very, very last song, our, our hit I'm Not Sorry, um, our singer Matt came, came into the song um, wrong, basically halfway through and, and it threw all the instruments and the song broke down and we had to start again. Start again. And then when we started again, I messed up a little bit, so to be fair, the gig in general were, were ace, but that song went to pop. I think fly a, I must like to fly a plane before I die. I don't know why, but it just seems like a, like a big thing being a pilot. It's quite cool, like you know, John Travolta can do it, you know, so I think fly a plane. It's good shoes. They're, they're a new band and like on CD, they, you know, they come across pretty well, but live, they're, they're such a really good live band and got really intricate, um, great sound, great band, nice guys as well. So they're one of my favourite new bands. The weirdest thing I've put in my mouth is fish. I, I can't eat unless it's from a fish and chip shop. It's disgusting. One act I would be avoiding this summer is Mika. What the fuck is Mika about? He sings, he tries to be Freddie Mercury, but he's not, he's shit. We've been the Pigeon Detectives. We'll see you motherfuckers later. See ya.